gay versus queer, kissing fear, and the end of another year. It's the season three finale today on The Point. Welcome to The Point, the only talk show bringing gay and straight men together to see what happens. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hi. And a special hello back with us. It's Fatality. Yay. Yay. I hope you stay with us the whole show and don't leave at the midpoint. I'll try. <laughs> how are you, Faye? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, good, good. It's coming up on Pride. Are you, are you Pride ready? 50%. So, is yeah, that, 50%. Well, this is, I think this is very exciting. What is? Because I uh, was... Oh, shit, yeah, I saw this. So I was exciting. scrolling through my Facebook, <laughs> and I saw Pride Toronto advertising their parade this year, and there it's funny, they didn't is Faye. They didn't even tell me that this was going on. Like, I wasn't even tagged in it. Someone sent it to me. I oh, think was, really? I think it was your boyfriend who sent it to me. Oh, really? And I saw that, yeah. Oh, your boyfriend is just... On top of everything. <laughs> <laughs> For I'm once, it's on top of everything. No, but that's great. Congratulations Yay. on being yeah, a great. face of pride. Yeah. Yay. Well done. Yay. Yay. Well, also, today, very exciting for our season finale. Are you trying to scare people? Yeah. What are you doing? Um, uh, coming up, we have a, a special performance, a musical guest, our friend back with us, uh, Matthew Partlett. He will be performing his second single from his EP. It goes by Matt Partlett. Matt Partlett, Thank sorry. You. I have this little pin. <laughs> that little Matt in Partlett. Of him. Yes. Oh, yes, British. He's finale. British. Uh, Matt Partlett. Is he? I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll be performing the second single from his EP, Come Alive, and it's called Ego, and he will be performing it later in the show. But for now, it's time for talking point number one, pride planning. Okay, so, uh, something called the Matador Network um, put together this thing called Dear Straight Allies. Please don't come to Pride until you've understood these six things. That's been going oh. around for years, I think. Well, six they, things. they just Jeez, I've only reposted two. it. Um, like, what can I do in the Pride fight? Okay, so the All first that. thing, and maybe the, the straight boys Let's know. Go. Let's get into it. Number one, the first Pride was a police riot. You yes. might see sequins, rainbows, parade floats, pool parties, but you have to know that it's actually based on yes. yeah. a police the riot. The, uh, no, not the bathhouse oh, raids. No. The Stonewall riots okay. of 1969. And a black drag queen through the first brick. Not That's a right. white yeah. male that the movie depicts. Right. Oh, really? yeah. Yes. Uh, there was a lot of problems with <laughs> yeah, that movie. Um, what movie? Uh, it was Stonewall. called Stonewall. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, and the, the main character was a white guy, and it sort of paints him. I haven't seen the movie, but my understanding yeah, is yeah. it paints him as sort of the hero of Stonewall, where it was really. Um, drag queens uh, of color mm. who were on the forefront of, of fighting back against the police. Wow. And you're right, a black drag queen. I think they mentioned her a little bit in the movie, but it's not as big as what it actually was. Yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, so there you go. Yeah. Um, number two, a dyke bar during Pride is not the place to look for your unicorn. <laughs> Straight men. <laughs> Trash. Um, have you ever have you ever gone to? I, I mean, I, I actually, do you know women who have gone to gay bars to look for their unicorn? Oh my god, I have girls who they always pick up when they go. Like I have, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. So there's always one straight guy at a at a club or bar, and she always finds him. Like it's hilarious. It's funny. I've never heard of this be called a unicorn before. This is me neither. Yeah. A yeah. unicorn is to find. Yeah, when a straight couple, a man and a woman, 
uh, are looking for a female to join them. So you're mm -hmm. looking for a woman who is down with being with the guy, but also yeah. with another woman at the same time is called a unicorn. Yeah, that's what I thought, but oh. Oh, well, I don't know if you're going to find so that in the tech Yeah, I mean, maybe not the right place, but are there not like bi events and things at during Pride? Yeah, like, there maybe are. That's there where are. you it should be looking if you need to. TQ community. So. I've never been to a dyke bar, so I have no idea. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think we have yeah. that. Yeah. I don't think we have that. We're allowed to say that word. It doesn't pop up. Oh, well, They're I, allowed to say that. The dyke march, so yeah, I guess. Yeah. So. Okay, you don't, well, no, don't come it's, at me, bitch. Oh, I'm just saying, like, isn't it called the, it's the, called the dyke march? So I'm assuming it's fine. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, number three, do not take pictures or snaps of us without permission. I don't know uh, that that is really. That's a no, general. I don't think, I don't think because that's forget whether you're straight or not. Everyone takes pictures of everyone without permission. I mean, it's not you're not going to a zoo, I guess, is the intention. And so it's not like, you know, oh, look, a gay taking a picture. You know, taking a picture. <laughs> Here, <laughs> Here are homosexuals in their natural habitat. Yeah. It's team walks. It's a parade, it's though, right? Path, yeah. Like, uh, as far as the parade part goes, I would expect a lot of pictures to be taken. Yeah. At the yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What does uh, that mean? Like, what uh, is don't post photos of us on social media as a way to be edgy or to show your superior open-mindedness. And don't make fun of us on the internet. We don't exist for your amusement. Don't I, 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 mean, yeah, I think I, this one's weird. a stretch. I get what yeah. they're trying to say, but it's not. The, the, uh, well, Tino well likes a good stretch. Yeah. Uh, number four. Oh, yeah. Who oh if you're who doesn't <laughs> if your thought process is gays are okay like but I don't get the whole trans thing don't come to pride uh, yeah. yeah I'm down with that yeah that's that's yeah, a very that good point sense. unless you're coming to educate yourself right mm -hmm. if you're coming to try and have conversations and understand it then by all means come to pride right because that's what pride should be again I think the point of this wasn't like I don't get it but I'm open to learning is more like you know, I draw the line right. at trans kind yeah. of thing and are unwilling are to some, learn. I mean, I, 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 now, there are a lot of straight tourists at Pride. Yeah. You know, they come with, yeah. you know, uh, the women who come with their hot boyfriends just so they feel better about themselves that the gays are looking at the boyfriend. I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> uh, no, it's, uh, that's that a really thing. thing. <laughs> that's a thing. Oh, all the gay guys are looking at my boyfriend. That means he's hot. So he must be really hot. Yeah. Um, I, th uh, there's a lot of um, uh, uh, straight women who come to Pride in uh, and t to take pictures. Mostly for the parties, I think. Uh, I mean, it, it's just yeah. a thing. And part of Pride is, I mean, it's a parade. It's people on display. There's some spectacles. Yeah, there's spectacles. Yeah, there's yeah. spectacles. I mean, families go to show the support and everything. Testicle yeah. spectacle. Yeah. Um, and Church Street is awesome. Yeah. Number five, Pride yeah. is not the appropriate venue for your girls' night, your bachelorette pop uh, yeah. party, or your misogyny. Um, I actually think misogyny. girls' night and bachelorette party is different than misogyny, but because um, also misogyny in the gay community is a rampant is a problem. Thing. It's a but, problem, and but it's a yes, thing. with the first par two parts of that, you're right. They're like, just that's not what that's. I about. mean, but yeah. there. I mean, how many bachelorette parties are now happen at gay bars? All the time, right? All, All the, the time. time. Yeah. Yeah, so just wait a week. Like, don't do it during Pride. Yeah. yeah. There's too much going on. Yeah. Don't, yeah. yeah. Number six, no, the last one. You are a guest in our space. Act accordingly. What does that mean? And here's why I'm asking. Rock I read that part, out. but I did not read the description <laughs> below it because I ran out of time before I got here. So, like... Um, uh, if you choose to go to Pride, be a supportive observer and participate in activities, but don't try to be the focus of the event. I, I mean, I, I don't know many... I'm not sure that that's like, I think that's just general, here's how you should act in society. Oh, but I also think, I, I mean, uh, uh, act accordingly. Uh, I mean, it's it's out on the street. So, I mean, uh, if you're coming to Pride, don't show up with like, Jesus hates you signs. Well, uh, uh, yeah, you know, maybe. I mean, that's maybe little, that's what they're yeah. saying. I also, I also do see, and, and back to like point number five, that like groups of like straight women will make make spectacles of themselves at Pride and try to make it that they're having a good time and it's like, it's not about you. Right, but, but if they but show up with the bachelorette yeah. crown but, and... Yeah, or just like a party, like groups of girls will go to party those nights and yeah, like I went with like, when it was like the first time I think that I'd met my brother's partner and it was during Pride. So we went and I had like a whole bunch of friends that were, uh, they're, they're lesbian so they took, took us around and everywhere we went, there were just large groups of college girls, like just partying, and we're like, "You're embarrassing yourself." Yeah, you know. I, I don't actually mind it, but if you're dancing and you have long hair, don't whip your hair so it oh whips my in my God. face. I don't. Or do that to me. I don't like me. that. 
I love it. Or, yeah, or, or do it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or don't just fucking go on on stage while the like, queen is performing. And, and just... don't tip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah tip do the queens. Do whatever you want if you're going to give me lots of money. Yeah. Tip the queens. Yeah. Well, um, this is something that you may, may want to think about during Pride. Kissing Tito man. And, and Faye and Adam. Um, so uh, there's been a lot of um, uh, press lately about uh, an uptick in gonorrhea uh, in the gay community. Um, Isn't there always? Yeah, but right. the new study published out of Australia, which a lot of studies seem to come out of Australia, um, it's, a, it's in the journal Sexually Transmitted Infections, which sounds like such a good read, but I'm going to wait for the movie. I'm going to wait for the movie. Uh, found that men who kissed multiple same-sex partners over a three-month period had a 46 to 81% higher chance of contacting gonorrhea. So kissing Contact. is now... Like, like by... Be, through kissing? Through kissing. Okay, it wasn't like, you know, that means that they're also having sex with those other people and therefore are getting the gonorrhea. Like well, uh, there, there, some of that was like, you know, Somebody's like, kissing another person's dick? And then, <laughs> well, like, you're soul kissing and then you're going back to kissing. Okay. Soul, soul kissing? kissing? Is that, yeah, giving a blowjob. Yeah. I've never heard that expression. Yeah, I've never heard soul that expression. Soul kissing. That sounds so, so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Must be an old expression. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we stop calling it a blowy? Right. Um, is, is this going to stop you from, from kissing. kissing during Pride? Do people kiss at Pride? Just put a condom in your yeah, mouth. I don't know. And you're good. <laughs> I know. I, I, when I was reading this stuff, all I could think was, like, Nobody uses a condom for Kiss a blowjob, so is this gonna is the is the concern over gonorrhea gonna stop people from making out on the dance floor? No, or something? no. no I definitely nothing not. stops people from making. No, 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 no. doing bad decisions. No. And everything. You're still gonna kiss. Oh all yeah, the, all, yeah. All the boys. All the boys. All the boys. Well, here here's a question yeah, that yeah. that yeah. keeps coming up. And not just at Pride, but all year round. And so, where I'm, are my glasses, yeah. Brad? That's just you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear glasses. They're on your head. I, I can't find them. That's, <laughs> I, no, I have. I actually, I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> but my eyes are great. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, so the the issue that comes up year after year, Reddit is at it again, asking, "Are you gay or are you queer?" Mm. What's the term both. that best represents the community? Both. Why do you I say don't both? Know. Queer is like a general umbrella term, I think. Wait. So you can be queer and gay. Well, you can be queer and gay. Or you can be queer and not gay. But, uh, well, yes. You you had a run-in with a straight queer person. <laughs> yeah, very confusing. <laughs> this time last year, Sorry. it was very confusing. Um, very awkward. Uh, Faye, what, what, where do you come down on this? I'm gay. Okay. I mean, I didn't, I don't really kind of, still don't fully know what the queer thing means. It's just like. Well, this was, this was a couple of uh, comments on on Reddit. People seem to use queer like how some people use non-binary. So it basically means whether they, whatever they feel like. Queer seems to have some sort of political connotation to it, though, as opposed to being gay. To me, queer is anything non-straight. Gay is mostly homosexual men and women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But a lot of people will say the queer community. Mm. Yeah. Um, so do you feel... Do they want to say that because they don't want to say the gay community? Yeah, or the well, LGBT. want to use that well, Because there's so many term. different kinds of people now that there you can't There are so many letters everybody. in the alphabet now. There's a lot. There's a lot. I don't know. I don't Even numbers not, now, you know? Yeah, like, there's I, numbers. There is. I don't, What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind... I don't mind... Well, actually, I hate it when people say... Um, like there's an LGBT community and there's an LGBT people, but I hate it when people when like so he's an LGBT person. Mm -hmm. mm. No, no. <laughs> you can't be a lesbian, bi gay, bisexual, he, he and can transgender. Be whatever he person. wants. Maybe he is all of those letters. Yeah. Who are you to say he's not? Well, <laughs> Tito's got you there, but yeah. But I, but that's not how people are using it. People are just saying, like, instead of saying I'm a member of the LGBT community, they mm. say I'm an LGBT person, which kind of doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, but I also like queer to me. Like, if people want to reclaim the word queer, that's fine. But I don't really consider myself queer. I understand what people mean when they say the queer community. I don't mind it if someone's like ask, is like using it to ask 
which letter are you? And they're saying, are you queer? And then you'd be like, yeah, I'm this. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm gay or well, but, I'm bi. But like, now people say as an LGBTQ, the Q is for queer. So it's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer. I thought it was questioning. I'm so oh, see, I thought, well, well, I've heard both. Yeah, yeah, I think well, there's two. I'm pretty sure there's two. Two, there's Q-Q. Q-Q. Right? Yeah, there's two. What's, oh. what's, what's the other Q? Oh. Questioning. questioning. And then questioning. Think, okay, it, I didn't thing, know that. You know, like Doug. Yeah. The courage. actual like <laughs> LGBT thing goes on for does like. It mean, it's it's LGBTQQIA two S. Oh my god. I I, I don't I'm remember. Lost. A. Yeah, there's a lot. Can somebody? There's, there's like six. Anybody sexual, can tell me t- what each one no. is. No. Gay, a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, asexual, two intersex, two spirit. Allies. Allies should have no fucking place in that. <laughs> what Just does so two-spirit you know. mean? That's, uh, the, uh, that's basically the indigenous version of, of same gender loving. Didn't okay, you know holy crap. To us? I didn't know about all this. I, I have seen like that abbreviation, but I, I didn't even. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, holy so crap. maybe that's, that's why that's you just need to say queer. Yeah. Well, that's nobody what, got time right. for that's that. What, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, too many letters. Yeah. Well, you guys are doing this to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of doing it to yourself, it it's time seen. for Tito's midpoint. <laughs> Jesus. No mercy, baby. <laughs> this week we're playing brownie points, and it's all a trivia about the summertime, which is. Currently happening. Uh, Summertime and Tito. And this is oh my god. Yeah, this is the last episode. So this is going to be our last midpoint no. of the season. Oh, of the season. Oh. And it's about summer. Summer. Okay. Yay. Summer, summer. I know summer. about summer. summer. So I'm going to ask a question. There's going to be a correct answer out of four. So options. we have to listen to your. Yes. So it's a multiple choice. So we can't just shout things out. <laughs> well, you can, but you'll probably be wrong. The most traditional. Wow. wow. The most traditional birthstone for the month of August is what? Oh wait a minute! Actually, Ori, Ori hey. you just appeared. Hey, hey, what's up? Yeah, isn't Hello. that crazy how that happened? Wow, the magic of television. <laughs> He's always popping in and out of my life. It's, you know. What Your is legs? the answer? Okay, what was the question? Amethyst. Life. <laughs> the most traditional birthstone for ugh, but yeah for the month of August is what? Diamond, topaz, pearl, or peridot? Topaz. Peridot. I want to say I want to say peridot just because yeah, I like peridot. that name. You are correct. Oh. Wow. What are the three summer signs of the zodiac? Uh, Cancer. The Cancer. Dead coed. Leo. Leo. Gemini. No. No. Gemini spring. Are you He's Gemini? Yeah, I'm Gemini. He's supposed to uh, give us. What's your us... birthday? It's the coming up in a couple day. of days. Same. Oh. Yeah. Well, Whoa. actually, no. Sorry, it happened like a so, month ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> So we're like the Gemini twins. Yeah. We are the gay and straight Gemini twins. What day? My boyfriend's a Gemini too, on the 8th. June 20th. First. That's my brother's birthday. Oh. Yeah. Oh That's my so God. So many Gemini. <laughs> back to the actual midpoint. Isn't it, uh, wouldn't it be Gemini? What's, what's after Ge- Virgo? Yes, correct. Virgo. Oh, thank you. you got Isn't all Virgo three. in September? No. Yeah, well, yes, September, the beginning is, September is summer. 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 Oh, God. So like the 21st. Actually, it, you know, uh, Thank you. It's, it's <laughs> obvious why we couldn't think of Virgo because Virgo is the sign of the Virgin. I don't fully right. understand what you're Tito saying. hasn't been a virgin for a long time. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> what U.S. president's daughter celebrates a birthday on July 4th? One of the Bushes. Bushes, Sophia Hold Bush. On. No. Is it only that first Obama. question that you're giving no, us multiple choices? No, but you choices? guys won't shut the fuck up. So well, oh, well, we <laughs> can't like, do the options. We have. We have Amy Carter, Malia Obama, Chelsea Clinton, Barbara Ann, Jenna Chelsea. Bush. Chelsea Clinton. Chelsea. Obama. I forgot what the question was. Correcto. Oh. It's Malia. Oh, Malia. The month of July was named for what historical figure? Oh, man. I Julius sh- Caesar. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I didn't want to read this person. I was like, Jula Haraquai. I was like, oh, I can't say that. Jamiroquai? No, Jula Haraquai. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Ancient Egyptian writer of agricultural science. Okay, it's Julius Caesar. Correct. In the U.S., which of the following observances does not take place in the summertime? National Sandwich Month, National Ice Cream Month, National Barbecue Month, or National Watermelon Month? Sandwich. Sandwich. Yeah. Barbecue. Barbecue Month. It's barbecue. Really? Ha <laughs> ha, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah. When is National Barbecue, barbecue Month? month? There is would no be in the summer. Barbecue Month. There right? is no, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't exist. 
trick question. <laughs> yeah, no. trick question. Well played. I mean, I don't know for fact. I'm just, it's not the right answer, you know? Or it is. Anyway, it does not, <laughs> <laughs> does not take place in the summertime. Maybe it takes place at another time, or maybe it doesn't exist. I don't know what the true T is. Next, we have, according to hospital statistics in the U.S., sorry, these are all U.S. related, what summer recreation historically claims the least number of injuries and fatalities each and every year? So the it's the rec it's the, that has the least injuries? Yes. Okay. Claims the, the least number. So it's not injuries. CrossFit. Fireworks. Swimming. Yeah, that's what I'm Let them read the answer. answer. Volleyball. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Go ahead. Volleyball. Uh -huh. Swimming in a pool. Fishing uh, or skinny dipping? Skinny dipping. Fishing. Swimming in a pool. Volleyball. Fishing. People drown all the time, you guys. I know. Yeah. I know. I thought you were doing another trick. If they're know? fishing, people are getting hooked. Fishing. Caught in Close. It's skinny dipping. Skinny. People don't it. get Who's injured. Who's gonna die swimming naked? No. Every movie. Is we just there. talked about Jaws. Yeah. Jaws. We just talked about Jaws. They're not naked. No. The girl at the beginning. Yeah. The girl at the beginning is naked. It's hot. And a lot of people who skinny dip, they jump off the rocks and then they hit their. Skulls. Which is only dangerous if I feel you're like not people wearing just a bathing take off their clothes, run into the water, and that's it, and they don't. <laughs> yeah. No, you yeah. frolic around. Anyways. Just have sex, people. <laughs> last one. Oh, I'm so sad. This is the last question of the entire season, guys. <gasps> oh. Ten, it's so easy. <laughs> no, but, don't talk about yourself like that. <laughs> <laughs> what over-the-counter vitamin can be used as an effective sunscreen by either ingesting it or allowing it to diffuse in water and then applying to the skin? Isn't vitamin A, D, C, or B6? Oh. C. D. C. Like that. B6. Big. It vitamin should be C, honey. E. Oh. Really? C. That's a sun? C. That's a garbage C. answer. I'm not, I won't accept it. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bad final what, question. Uh, what, what is it about vitamin C? It can be used as an effective sunscreen by either ingesting it, obviously, you eat vitamin C. Or allowing it to diffuse in water and then applying to the skin. Really? Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, I, would I, think I would have said like vitamin E or something. And you said it was easy. Oh. Yeah. That was not easy. It's the that only vitamin not... I know. Wait, it's See? the only <laughs> vitamin you know? <laughs> Come on. You don't know vitamin? Stuff. Vitamin D is the vitamin you get from I that. I love vitamin Z. Vitamin D. <laughs> no, that's not the right. Okay. Well, thank you, Tito. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> for today's midpoint. But... Now, for talking point number two, we're gonna have a special treat. Special treat. A musical performance. Our friend Matthew Partlett coming back with his second single off of his EP, Come Alive. Here he is to perform Ego. Woo! Yay! I remember the last thing I said as I got out your car I hope you find someone who can love you as you are Maybe you'll find someone who loves you as much as you do Maybe I'll find someone who could love me too Looks like you found him, oh I heard from my spies But I can't understand how you're looking at his face instead of mine but I can try Maybe he knows how to boost your ego He thinks the sun shines out you oh, oh, oh. Lost in infatuations The shade is desperation And you just want to be loved by anyone Anyone who can boost your ego Ego And you said to me, I bet you was waiting for this Your attitude, it will not be missed And your vanity's a thing I can't put up with Looks like he's fine to stick to your side I'm sure he's fine walking two steps behind No, your mum would rather me any time But I'm not the guy, no, I'm not the guy Cause maybe he knows how to boost your ego He thinks the sun shines out you oh, oh, oh. Lost in infatuations, the shade is desperation And you just want to be loved by anyone 
Anyone who can boost your ego, ego, oh. who can boost your ego, ego, oh. who can boost your ego, ego, oh. and the boy thinks you love him too, cause maybe he knows how to boost your ego, he thinks the sun shines out you, oh, oh. Situations, the shade is desperation that you just want to be loved by anyone Anyone who can boost your ego, ego Keep it going. Keep it going. Hey. Hey. hey! hey! How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. What's been, uh, since uh, the last time you were on the show, what's been going on? Uh, not much. Um, <laughs> I'm still been yeah. gigging in the village. Um, they want to do something for Pride as well, but I haven't got dates yet. But okay. As soon as I do, I'll let you all know. Okay, cool. Now, I love the new single. Thank you. Ego. Fantastic. It okay. sounds like... There's a story behind it. Oh, n no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think everyone's had that relationship with someone that was more in love with themselves than they were with you. And I think there was a lot of my friends were having that relationship at the same time. And it was kind of like a, fuck you, bro. <laughs> 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 you ain't that hot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Any tea to spill, though? No, no, no. I'm going to keep it classy. OK, OK. <laughs> well, you're British. That's, yeah, that's, that's what, what we do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, uh, were you were, like were you paying attention to like the royal baby and no. all that kind of stuff? No. Not at all. And also, I find it really strange that Canada celebrates Victoria Day. You celebrate one of our dead queens that we don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> I find it weird that there was a national holiday. For we that. get a day off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought it was about Victoria Beckham. So what oh, do man. I know? <laughs> what do I know? Well, thank you, Matt, for joining us on our season finale. Thank you for having me. Um, uh, and I should remind everybody that we are on the streaming service Fearless. So go to the App Store and download Fearless. Lots of good stuff there. Of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, subscribe to us on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash thepointguys. Helps us greatly, costs you nothing. Not, don't just, you're looking for the bell, I aren't you? I was looking you? for the bell. <laughs> don't, just, don't just hit uh, the, the red button to subscribe, but also hit the bell. Ding. Thank you. Um, and uh, you'll be notified every time a new episode is available. Uh, you, there's also the auto, uh, audio podcast yes. on iTunes. Check us out there. Let us know what you think about anything we've talked about on the show today. You can comment below on YouTube. You can also go to Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the point guys patreon patreon oh and page yes thank you yeah, yeah, yeah. um it, literally the it, only one that gives us any, any money, money. <laughs> uh, it's our season finale we will be back for season four in the fall but if you're you here first but if you want to help us keep the show going go to our patreon site that's crowdfunding patreon.com slash the point guys i was going to ask uh, Matt, um, if people want to find your music how do they do that i'm um, just i'm on google play amazon music spotify Oh, Apple great. Music, did I say that? You did not. But I'm everywhere, not. man. So You're sure. everywhere. <laughs> Matt Harley, you'll Actually, find me. just like Tito, he's on a lot of uh, sites, platforms. sites <laughs> as platforms as well. <laughs> and you can look for him there. Um, so, yes, yeah, so thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Say, oh, Faye's over there. <laughs> um, we will be back in, in October for season four. Can you Whoa. believe it? I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but, uh, you, we usually say see you next Tuesday, but instead we'll say see, see you, you next, next fall. fall on the point. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> <laughs> Yay!